Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within the PC Settings app window in Windows 8.1, you can click the Update and Recovery category at the left side of the screen to display Windows Update and Recovery settings within this window. The categories of settings are listed in the pane at the left side of the screen. You click the setting categories shown in this listing to change their individual settings in the right side of this window. Note that you can click the back arrow that appears next to the Update and Recovery title at the left side of the window to return to the main PC settings window. This lesson will examine the settings you can change within the Update and Recovery settings category. You can click the Windows Update category at the left side of this window to view Windows Update settings in the area to the right. Windows Update is a utility that installs updates to your Windows software. In the Windows Update section, you can see your Windows Update installation configuration information. You can click the View Details command to display a window that shows any updates that you can install. You can then check any updates you want to install and then click the Install button to install the selected updates. You can click the back arrow button in the upper left corner of the window to return to the Windows Update settings after checking for updates if you choose not to install any. You can manually check for updates by clicking the Check Now button. You can view the history of installed updates by clicking the View Your Update History command. You can then click the back arrow in the upper left corner of the window to return to the Windows Update settings. You can click the Choose How Updates Get Installed command to view a window that allows you to choose how and when updates are installed. You can use the drop-down under the Important Updates setting to choose how to install those updates. You can also check the check boxes for Recommended Updates and Microsoft Updates to also check for optional recommended updates and updates to any other Microsoft software products such as Microsoft Office, in addition to updates for Windows. If you change any settings here, you can click the Apply button to apply them, or you can click the Cancel button to cancel your changes. To return to the Windows Update settings, you can click the back arrow button in the upper left corner. You can click the File History category at the left side of this window to view File History settings in the area to the right. File History is a utility that saves copies of files within the documents, music, pictures, videos, and desktop folders automatically so that you can get them back if they are lost or damaged. These files are most often saved to an external hard drive connected to your computer. Windows will automatically search for the drive that it thinks is the best drive to which it should save the files. If you want to select a different drive, click the Select a Different Drive command to allow Windows to search for any connected external hard drives to which you can back up your files. You can then click the name of the connected hard drive to use for the backups from the pop-up menu that appears. To enable the File History feature, click the File History toggle switch to set it to the On position. If you then want to manually back up the files to the selected drive, click the Backup Now button to begin. You can click the Recovery category at the left side of this window to view Recovery settings in the area to the right. The tools that are shown here can help advanced users restore their Windows system in case of an emergency. In the Refresh Your PC Without Affecting Your Files section, you can click the Get Started button to begin a process that will restore Windows to its default operating state without removing any data files. If you plan on giving away your PC or you want to remove all of the content on your computer and start over, you can click the Get Started button under the Remove Everything and Reinstall Windows section and then follow the on-screen prompts to erase and reset your computer. Note that this is an extreme choice that will completely wipe out all of the files and settings on your computer, forcing you to start over from scratch. 
You should only do this if you are planning to give the computer away, and only after you have safely backed up all files and folders that you want to keep from your PC first. If you need to change the way that Windows 8.1 boots up by default, you can change the Boot and Startup settings by clicking the Restart Now button under the Advanced Startup section. This is sometimes used by computer professionals to allow Windows 8.1 to boot from an alternate device, such as a USB drive, and is not often needed by most users. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.